my name is Mara and uh, this is Jexy. He wanted to make an appearance in this video. Uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel, to Funny Face Pack. Um, today is the 13th of January and it's already become kind of a tradition that at the beginning of the year I make a huge order off of Glirex. Uh, I'm based in Romania and Glirex is a Hungarian brand that makes these all-natural animal products and they have Heidi's, they have food, uh, very good uh, hamster mixes, they have one ingredient food, they have forage, they have a lot of stuff that... They have a lot of stuff that I can find otherwise in Romania, so because the shipping is quite expensive, especially for such a big package, I make this order once a year and uh, today I am also joined by my rats you can see their cages here, maybe you'll see them moving in the background while I unbox this they also have some things in the package themselves so I'm sure they're <laughs> also excited this other is mostly for my uh, hamsters most of what I order is for my hamsters also a lot of things for my chinchillas because as I said they have a lot of natural forages and plants that they will really, really love and some things for my rats uh, not much for my guinea pigs I think maybe they'll enjoy some of the forage also but they are not such big fans so let's start unboxing so <laughs> this box is quite full this was such a uh, quite a big order so we'll start with the things at the top and I have a ton of cork panels so I uh, have just one of these, a nice big one for one of my Syrians and I wanted everyone to have at least one of these. So I got five of them so that I make sure everyone has them because they are really nice, they are all natural and the hamsters just love it. And then also for the hamsters, uh, Glirex also started doing some handmade items they have for sale so oh, they are a bit dirty from the cork but this is what I got these are some nice litter boxes uh, they also have a lid and I plan on using them as forage boxes I have a little spot in the cage next to their wheel that's kind of empty so I thought this would fit perfectly and uh, on the lid Okay, we have another cat joining us. <laughs> on, I can use the lid also to store something on top, maybe their water bowl, maybe a little uh, sand box because they prefer to have smaller sand boxes and they use those to as toilets. So yes, I got also five of these so that I make sure everyone gets a big box. Oh, and I got a smaller size. This is the size recommended for... Um, um, Dwarf hamsters, I have Syrians, but I look at the measurements and I'm sure they will be able to fit inside for a small dig box space. Uh, this will not be the only place where they have a dig box or sand or anything like that. They have a few things scattered around, this is just an extra I'm going to add. So I'm still going to continue with the hamster stuff as we start with that. And I have these. Uh, these are... Uh, dried lotus uh, plants and they are really nice and really appreciated by the hamsters because they have this uh, area and I like to put food inside it and the hamster will have to uh, dig for the food and to destroy this to get the food and then I'm starting to get into the food bags <laughs> there are a lot of food things first we have a big bag of calendula. This is for my chinchillas. They love flowers. And instead of getting them many small packages, I decided to get them just big packages of their favorites. Calendula is one of their favorites. They love it, love it, love it. Now we're starting to see stuff for the rats. These are cocoa flakes. And I can get this in Romania too, but uh, from, from the grocery store, but the last few months I didn't see them in these nice big pieces that I can use to give them they were only like shaved and they will eat it but I don't prefer it as a way of 
giving it to them. So I decided to get a little bag for them. Then I have four bags of this puffed rice. Um, they really love this. I can also get puffed corn in uh, Romania or uh, puffed wheat. But uh, it's better not to exaggerate with the amount of corn and wheat you have in your rat's diet. So I prefer adding the puffed rice. Then we can start getting into the footages and I will not tell you what each one of them contains because the label is in uh, Hungarian and I can't speak Hungarian. So, yes, we have a lot of this. We can do it boy. Okay, so what I did with this basically is I went online and I ordered every single one of their different forage mixes because uh, I feel uh, they are a really good treat for the chinchillas and I give them uh, a little bit daily. As you know, chinchillas are only allowed to eat hay, their pellets and dried plants. No vegetables, nothing like that. So I feel like a bit of this daily gives them some vitamins and uh, more nutrients than just the hay. So I sprinkle a bit on top of their hay every day. Um, and they also get plants as treats. And I bought the already mixed uh, forages because I know they really enjoy them. I can also feed them to the rats or to the guinea pigs, so they are multi-purpose. Multi so I have eight different bags. Then, still for the chinchillas, another one of their favorites, we have a big bag of sunflower petals. And as I said, I bought them some bigger bags of their favorite flowers that they like to get the streets. And this is one of their favorites. They love this. Another big favorite are hibiscus flowers. And that's what we have in this bag. Um, I think they really enjoy this because it's a bit crunchy. So they're a big fan of the hibiscus. Now, uh, this is the last thing I got for the rats, and these are protein mixes. These contain a lot of different uh, protein-based insects and tiny creatures, such as shrimp, mealworms, uh, I think I, see, I can see crickets, I can see little fish, I can see different kinds of bugs, and I put this in their base mix. And, um, yeah, they uh, they enjoy this in the base mix. They don't really like getting this kind of things as a treat. I have some little bugs in a little container from last year <laughs> that I try to give them as treats, but they don't like it. But the Syrians like those as treats, so it's still good. Now we just have things left for the hamsters and I bought them a bunch of forage. Um, Glirex used to be the only place I could get forage from, now uh, we have a new pet shop in Romania where I can get it from. But uh, I got some kind that I can find in Romania. We first have these. And honestly I'm not sure how this is called in any language. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how this is called in English. But they are crazy for this one. They really love to break each little, uh, each individual um, little pod for the seed, so I got them a bunch of these so to make sure they all have some in their cage. And then the only other thing I got as a um, as sprays are um, lavender. And I've read they don't really eat the lavender, but I'm hoping it will be a nice decoration in the cage. Maybe it will smell nice. I don't know. It's uh, all natural wild. Lavender dried, of course, and I got some shorter ones and some longer ones, so that's really interesting. I'll, I can use it to decorate nicely. And I got a tiny bag of coriander as a free gift with my order. That's interesting. I will probably give that to the hamsters. And then the pièce de résistance of this order. Um, hamster food. I got 9 kilograms of the basic hamster mix 
and also one kilogram of the seed mix because I have my uh, rescue hamster, so my first hamster. He's a bit skinny, he never uh, put on weight really well, so I wanted to give him some extra seeds to help him with that. So this come packed in one kilogram bags, the really nice Ziploc, ba Ziploc bags. And I got this uh, on one hand because it's a really, really, really good mix. On another hand, because I really like that they come in bigger packaging, I'm not a big fan of plastic waste, so when I can buy things in bigger packages, I prefer it like that. And uh, the only other food I can get, it's it comes in small 250 grams packaging, so I'm not the big of a fan of that. So yeah, it hits all the... Uh, oh, and also, coming in bigger bags, it's cheaper than the small bags I get. So, it hits all aspects on being a good food. I got 9 kilograms to make sure it lasts me a while. I hope at least 6 months from my uh, calculations. Again, I have a lot of hamsters. 5. <laughs> so, yeah, it will not last all year, I think, because they eat a lot. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it will last a while. And uh, this is the one I was talking about. This is just the seed mix. This doesn't have uh, all the other ingredients they need. So I took this to give them a bit extra fats in their diets if they need it. So this is everything that I ordered this year from Glirex. And uh, considering all the little uh, hamster decor I bought, I'm planning to do a bit of a hamster cage redecoration and I plan to film it. So stay tuned to see more videos of my animals and yes, hope you have a great day and a great year. Bye!